All right, everyone, the Hunter Biden laptop scandal, and at this point, it's a legit scandal. It's not disinfo. It's not, you know, some sort of political op. It's revelation of, of widespread, wide-reaching, uh, at least pseudo-criminal behavior at this point. You know, beyond simply smoking crack, and that's the first revelation of the day. I wake up and I've got like 20 plus messages on Twitter. So I'm like, something big happened. And of course, Hunter Biden footage has been released showing him having orgies, smoking crack while, you know, getting a blowjob, um, various pictures of Hunter Biden. And it's a definitely, I mean, it shows without a doubt beyond uh, contravention uh, that Hunter Biden has a weird character. He's engaged in criminal behavior. By the way, for those of you who intend to use this for political propaganda purposes, don't even bother just attacking Biden. Just make the point to people, this is what the elites do behind closed doors. There's rules for thee, not for me in this situation. Here you've got a person soliciting prostitutes and doing hard drugs, whose father was a tough on drugs, tough on crime liberal in the 90s. This is what the lifestyles of the rich and vapid are about. That's the way to angle yourself in. This is the swamp. This is the establishment. This is what Trump has been complaining of for the last four years. This sort of behavior. It's no coincidence that this is being dropped, by the way, a week before the election. Let's not fucking kid ourselves. But you've got Hunter Biden doing all this weird shit, and that's, that's a big revelation, but it doesn't directly touch Biden himself. I mean, the candidate, Joe Biden. Um, except that some people are like, well... He has a picture on his laptop of Mally Obama's credit card with cocaine next to it. Now, can I confirm that it came from his laptop? It doesn't appear explicitly. I think it did, but that doesn't really matter. I mean, you can get a blank credit card that says anyone's name you want. I do not choose to believe Hunter Biden is likely to have fucked Mally Obama. Um, by the way, if you look at the date, she would have been of age. So, I mean, that's interesting. Again, lifestyles of the rich and vapid, but it seems to be a distraction. I think perhaps more substantial, though, is actually a separate link that's circulating again. It's technically it's from September, uh, and that's from OAN, which initially reported this. Um, and the New York Post has, has put the article up as well, which is that there was a phone call not long after Trump was elected in the lame duck session when uh, Biden was still VP between Biden and Poroshenko, the leader of Ukraine, in which he talks about wanting the Ukrainians to restructure their economic situation and dissolve some banking fund so that they can avoid having to ask Trump for money, so they can get an IMF loan, so they can avoid asking Trump for money uh, right out of the gate. And it seems, and this is speculation until we get potentially more releases, and I have a feeling that we will be getting them. Keep in mind, this is probably not the most damning thing you're going to see. And we got to get into the fucking original hosts of the uh, Hunter Biden uh, uh, laptop videos as well, because it, it gets weirder. It, it's one hell of a rabbit hole to the point where this is not going to be really a linear structured video because everything's intertwined like a, a mass of spaghetti or something. Um, it appears that on one hand, he wanted to limit Trump's political influence over Ukraine, which is damning for an outgoing administration in the executive capacity to try to reduce U.S. influence abroad. I can't think of anything more shifty. I can't think, and by the way, I can't think of any reason why that would have been done unless, point number two, it had to do with the fiscal arrangements through Burisma. That's the only thing I can think of, that Biden was trying to cover his ass by telling the Ukrainians, look, if you get investigated, you're going to be accepting more DC influence, so it's bad for you, and I might get investigated, so it's bad for me, number two. That's pretty damning. It's also, I would speculate, apparently, uh, under some U.S. law, probably illegal. At the very least, I can't imagine the average American voter would be happy to know that the outgoing admin tried to kneecap the incoming administration in regards to a state like the Ukraine. It doesn't make any fucking sense. By the way, technically, there's no the in front of Ukraine, but everyone says that. They should officially change their name to the Ukraine. But then you've got the Hunter Biden uh, drops. Again, quite damning. This is the lifestyles of the rich and vapid. This is what the elites get up to behind closed doors. This is what the establishment does. You go to jail if you sell a little crack. Hunter Biden smokes it while soliciting prostitutes. And there's one clip, and, and, and I, I hope to God that it's real, because I'm not going to watch the whole video of him getting sucked off. I'm not, I'm not interested in that. Uh, it doesn't exactly pique my interest, if you know what I'm saying. Someone else can take one for the team. You can watch Hunter Biden... Dick, dicking bimbos with Bill Clinton or whatever. 
um, there's one piece in which it looks like he's watching his own dad on TV at the time. Like there's a Biden speech on and he's screwing a girl on the bed in front of the TV. How goddamn awkward and weird can you possibly get? <laughs> this makes no sense. He's in some weird shit. But keep in mind, that only, th this is a good display of the swamp in the larger, broader sense. The way to go after it is, hey, Biden helps enable this behavior. He obviously knew this was going on. He wasn't ignorant to the fact that his son had a crack addiction, was repeatedly hiring prostitutes. And number three, what I would say is, is that not a national security threat? When someone who is potentially the son of someone who wants to be the president of the United States has these kinds of entanglements, potentially dirt on him. Uh, people back in the, the Cold War era used to get whacked for fucking the wrong politician and knowing too much. A really old spy versus spy era style joke. How do we know that similar things couldn't happen? The espionage is all over the place. All sig uh, significant nations spy on each other. Part of that is, yeah, they try to get information by uh, taking advantage of the weaknesses of people around main politicians. Well, if anyone's ever had a bunch of obvious weaknesses, it's Hunter Biden. It looks like the Chinese Communist Party have dirt on him. Now, here's where the rabbit hole gets really, really deep. It's beginning to look, because of where this video dropped, it's associated, I believe, with Steve Bannon himself. It looks like Bannon and some others, including Hong Kong investors, insiders in China, are running an underground subversive op against the Chinese government like an anti-communist sort of thing. They've been, apparently this, this site is, is taboo in China. It's banned, I guess. Uh, it's an attempt to crack through their great wall, the great firewall of China and deliver pertinent Western propaganda to uh, communists otherwise that would be. Um, it's it's spy, but this is weird stuff. This is like, this is the uh, makings of a spy thriller right now. It's beginning to look like Bannon and a bunch of other, what, what a Westerner, I suppose, would call good guys, are trying to infiltrate and overthrow communism in China, in part through political and, and business ventures, and Hunter Biden happens to be caught up on the other fucking side uh, because of his father's dealings in Ukraine and possibly with Russian oligarchs through that. Of course, remember, Paul Manafort got put in jail for a very long time for his monetary dealings in Ukraine with groups that were working with the Kremlin. <laughs> we know that. And that was pertinent to the mid-2000s in the Bush administration. Well, what was Hunter Biden doing as the chair of Burisma? This is getting really weird. I would say the phone call is a double doozy. I'm surprised that it wasn't talked about more back in September. I'm going to assume it was just locked out of the news cycle. What else was going on then? There must have been something major that happened and it just blocked it out. By the way, isn't Coney Barrett being voted on tomorrow? You got all this weird shit happening at the same time. This is way, way more of an odd election than 2016, by the way. Biden's slipping in the polls. He's getting heckled in Pennsylvania. This comes out. How much more do we need damage needs to be done to Biden before people drop him like a hot potato? If I'm an independent voter, do I really want to vote for a person who openly pressured a foreign nation to limit the influence of an incoming U.S. administration for political and possibly uh, criminal reasons? My God, that would be that's bigger than the Hunter Biden laptop scandal at large. I don't really care. Again, on its face. When things like this happen, it's like you have that one Dem politician, I guess, running for the House or something who had like a Hitler costume back in the 90s or 80s or something. The only thing that I care about in it is the hypocrisy and the potential impact in the political sense. I don't care about what the person did in the past. I don't care if Hunter Biden smokes crack today. I do care about the fact that Biden, as the architect of the tough on crime era, looks the other way while his son is doing things that would put, and in some cases have put, people, especially black males, away for life in prison. Under Joe Biden's 1994 crime bill auspices, Hunter Biden should be in prison for the rest of his life. He should have been in prison already for the last 10, 15 years. Laws for thee, not for me. That's the swamp. That's the whole goddamn rigged game that Trump keeps talking about. That's what I've been talking about for years. This is it on full, transparent display for the whole public. That's the angle to talk about it from. Not, well, Joe Biden's son smokes crack. Nobody cares about that. It's not Joe Biden. He's not a candidate. But they certainly care about the swamp in a general sense. You want to whip Trump's fans up into a frenzy, just... You know, talk about this stuff. Again, I can't give you the links, but 4chan has them, uh, along with everyone else on the internet. They won't be hard to find if you know how to, you know, well, not Google, probably DuckDuckGo at this point. And maybe a Bing search. Bill Gates doesn't care. And then you've got the damage control, which is that big tech right now is going on another pogrom against all this material. It's hacked material, therefore you can't share it. Well, we know that it's not hacked. 
We know that it was obtained legitimately, or at least that's the tale. Some people are now thinking that maybe it was in uh, uh, floating around over in China for some time. Bannon picked it up, actually sent it to Rudy, and the repairman's a fall guy. <laughs> Wouldn't, it, it, how much more weird can this get? What a great October. What a great election. Almost the point where the, the, I mean, the final outcome matters less than all this good shit that we're getting in the meantime. And this is definitely, it definitely excites me as a U.S. voter and as a political analyst that it's not just doldrums. Because for a while there, it was basically Trump makes mean tweet, Biden says incoherent shit to 10 people. It was kind of stagnant, honestly. Even the third debate was, you know, a little bit too calm for, for comfort. Um, does this impact the race at large? I should probably do the analysis thing since that's what I'm fucking here for. It's what I get paid for. Um, possibly. More likely than the former Hunter Biden releases, especially if it's in coordination, if, if you overlap the initial Biden call with what appears to have happened pertinent to not even just uh, Hunter Biden, but Beijing, some anti-communist group run by Steve Bannon of all people, it's beginning to look like there's something real goddamn huge and fishy going on here that hasn't not yet been fully revealed. And I shun sort of the weird side of YouTube conspiracy woo-woo thing. But when I smell a rat, I'm going to identify it as a rat. If it looks like a duck, it quacks like a duck, it's, it's laying eggs, or I, I think ducks are an egg-laying species. I'm probably stupid for even asking. Um, it has a bill, but it's not a platypus, and, and so on forth. If it's a semi-aquatic avian species, uh, very common in this particular neighborhood, uh, I don't think it's a swan because it's a little bit too ugly for that now, isn't it? That doesn't leave a whole lot of options. That's about all. Peace out.